great battle hides. So now you tried manifesting something and it didn't work out the way you wanted it to. In fact, now you find yourself in a big mess. Have you ever read or watched The Sorcerer's Apprentice? The story about the young conjurer who's learning and while the maestro left the house he's trying to manifest or conjure and everything everything becomes a big big mess yeah there is no way in the beginning to manifest without having all those issues and why is that well there are many reasons mainly the reason is because everything that you manifest you do it with your subconsciousness so in germany we say das kind mit dem bade ausschütten which kind of fits for me in this idea um, it means to spill out the bath with the baby which is like when you want to get rid of the water well in this case you spill the baby too <laughs> So what does that mean? So let's say the water is what you manifested, which is a nice idea because what can in fact be used to manifest, but that's another video. So, but let's say your manifestation is the water and what got out with it is this baby, what you didn't want to come out, but there it is and it's yours. And so please take care of it. There's so much stuff in your subconsciousness that you don't know about so while you are manifesting what you are doing with your mind all those things from your subconsciousness like manifest themselves into the outer world with whatever you wanted to manifest so this is like a side effect to it but it's a wonderful side effect actually because there's nothing else for a spiritual person to learn than to know thyself and manifesting is the best way to find out about yourself about what you hold in your subconsciousness firstly and secondly you can work with it as soon as you manifested it so let's just use my own example again when i manifested this house that i'm living in with the garden and the nice neighbors i accidentally manifested one neighbor who's a narcissist and yeah she's annoying the crap out of all of us yeah I manifested a wonderful perfect beautiful house the garden the neighbors everything that I wished for but with it came a narcissistic neighbor which is because I wasn't done with the topic I grew up with a narcissistic mother and I thought I would be over it um since i had had therapy for over three years and right after that i felt like being healed but yeah who reads my blog on stream it knows that i got caught by a narcissist again so the topic of narcissism uh, reappeared in my life in 2018 all the time so i could manifest whatever i wanted to it would always be accompanied by a narcissist until I noticed well okay right I'm still attracting them I'm still having a problem I still want to be loved that desperately that I would allow anybody to step over me now I'm done now I'm done with the topic uh, I haven't manifested something big for almost a year now for when I manifested this house and the friendships and all which came with it, uh, I manifested this top topic also, the narcissist. And it took me almost a year to get over it, to deal with it, to learn to set some boundaries for myself. And now I am and I feel so confident like never before. And I'm soon going to manifest something new. Um, and this way I'm really curious if I am still holding this problem in my subconsciousness I will know as soon as I manifest something for it will come out with it so 
is your manifestation a mess in the end? No, it ain't. Because whatever you thought would be the mess, it is actually there to help you to know yourself better and to develop yourself and to get better than you are right now. There is still so much to explore inside your own subconsciousness. And I promise, there is no greater thing than deepening the knowledge about yourself. You'll be surprised. Yes. So, your subconsciousness is sending out frequencies too. And please remember, fellow heights, all in our universe, as far as we can see, is frequency. <laughs> so, make yourself comfortable, fellow heights. I am looking forward to your comments, what you manifested and how that turned out to be a mess and how maybe you learned from that. Tell me. See you soon.